using this next example, an IV infusing at 83 milliliters an hour. At 2230, there's 425 milliliters remaining in the IV bag. And the question is, what time will the next bag be needed? In the toolbox, I have the flow rate of 83 milliliters an hour, the time that that was gathered, the information of 425 milliliters remaining in the bag, and the question of what time will the next be needed. The first step would be combining the flow rate of 83 milliliters in one hour to figure out how long it would take 425 milliliters to infuse at that rate. So though we solve for x hour, we're actually going to figure out the length of time, not what time the next will be needed. 83x equals 425. This equals 5.12. However, the 0.12 does not represent 12 minutes, but actual multiplied by 60 equals 7.2 minutes. If the total time is added to the time the IV was checked, I can then combine the time to figure out when the next bag will be needed. Because the number in the hours column is more than 24, this tells me this is into the next day. To figure out exactly what time it is the next day, I will simply subtract the previous 2400 hours of military time from that total. So according to this, the next bag will be needed at, and there are two ways I can write this, zero in front of it makes it 100 hours. So this would be 0,337 hours, or if I write this, I must designate if it's AM or PM.